What are we even doing here? Yeah, okay. So it seems like Patagonia Provisions decided to send me a box of free samples. They saw my review of their mackerel and they said, Matt, we'd like to give you a second chance, okay? I said, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do better next time. Just please send me a big, big, heavy box full of everything you make. And uh, it looks like they've come through, right? So um, let's open this guy up and uh, see what's inside, right? I think this box has been used before, okay? Uh-huh. Paper, paper. Look at all this. Okay, so it looks like we've got a little postcard. Matthew, here is a little bit of all of our seafood. Well, is it a little bit or is it all of it? Also including some non-seafood. I hope you enjoy. Best, Danny. Thanks, Danny. Thanks, Danny. Really do appreciate it. Look at this pretty picture of this, um, what is he? Is he, a, is he a mackerel? I don't know. Okay. Golly. All of a sudden, I just got super excited. So first of all, we got some um, crackers. These are breadfruit crackers. Yeah, okay, so Patagonia Provisions, they make crackers, sure. Done. Uh, oh, we got some uh, some stickers. It says Patagonia Provisions Reef Net Fishing. I wonder what reef net fishing means. You look what they're doing here, I don't know. I mean, this is probably, oh, this is a good way to fish, you know? Like, I don't see any dolphins caught in these nets here, right? Is that is that the idea? I think I think so. Um, some more crackers. Oh man. I got a wife that's gonna be into some crackers, right? She loves crackers. Breadfruit crackers. Those are all different flavors. I I like crackers, but I try not I try not to get into them because I'll just eat them all and it's a bad scene. This is the thing with Patagonia that we're gonna notice is they, they just, I mean, every inch of the box is, why this, why that? This is the best because like, thanks to Dr. Diane Ragon, director of the Breadfruit Institute at the National Tropical Botanical Garden. Like are our taxes paying for this stuff? I don't even know, man. Uh, and then here we go, chili mix, huh? This isn't fish, guys. Um, organic spicy red bean chili. I think uh, I think I just add this to water, and uh, and other other things that I want, and it makes chili, huh? Huh? We could probably make a real feast when we go camping with this with this chili, right? I think. I think that's the idea of some of this food is, uh, you know, it's like camp food, right? Cause that's their whole Patagonia is all outdoorsy uh, stuff. And then what do we got? Organic savory grains, mushroom and kamut. Kamut? Khorasan har, oh. Golly, there's words I've never even seen before on here. Okay, I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy and appreciate this stuff, but it is just way beyond the scope of the canned fish files. Now, I know a lot of you is watching, you're just fish freaks. You just wanna see what's on the inside of these cans. Uh, and you don't care about weird soup. But then a lot of you are also like, foodie foodies and you are like, hmm, now that you mention mushroom and kamut, kamut, like that sounds great. <laughs> okay, this is what we came for. Smoked mussels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. Le oh, lemon caper mackerel. We tried this stuff. It was delicious. Um, oh, more lemon herb mussels. Lemon, olive, Spanish white anchovies, smoked mackerel in olive oil. 
chimichurri spice blend. Is this how you make chimichurri sauce? Oh my God, you gotta read to find out. I don't wanna come off like some guy that doesn't like to read. Like I've read a lot in my life. Obviously, <laughs> but I don't know. Um, Muscles, muscles, yeah, these muscles, I think, ooh, yeah. That's, the muscles is the first thing I knew about, right? Cause Slow Jeroni reviewed the muscles and he had a good time eating them. I think I got like, okay, let's organize things, right? So I got like lemon herb, roasted garlic, no wait, lemon herb mussels, sofrito mussels, smoked mussels, lemon herb mackerel, roasted garlic mackerel, smoked mackerel, okay. Spanish white anchovies in olive oil. Okay, lemon olive. Yeah. Spanish white anchovies in extra virgin olive oil. Roasted garlic kind. And then aji molido. Gosh, I feel like that's the right way to pronounce it, but it feels wrong. Ah. Uh, uh. Patagonia founder, Yvonne Chunard. Golly, this is tough, man. Um, tasted this stuff in 67 while camping with gauchos in Patagonia. I know the word gaucho from Steely Dan. Who is the gaucho amigo? Why is he standing there in your... Spanish paprika mackerel. So we got, like by the numbers, four different kinds of mackerel, three different kinds of smoked mussels, anchovies, it's like Christmas. Not for nothing, this is like kind of a haul here, right? And then, and then, black pepper, wild pink salmon. Now, I gotta confess to you guys, um, I did something and I didn't tell you about it. I tried this stuff. I went to the camping store and I bought some of this stuff for my camping trips that I was I was going on um, recently. And uh, me and my buddy, we tried this. We like heated it up, you know, in a little a little uh, a little you know titanium camp camp stove over a fire, right? And uh, my God, was this crap to die for? I I don't. How much does this cost? It's it's. It's not cheap, but there's like two two fillets in here, and you could put this on a plate and pretend like you cooked it, and like I'm Mr. Gourmet or whatever, and like it would be like, yeah, somebody's somebody's gonna get that nookie tonight, right? You know, I'm not sure how um, things work in your house. Uh, that's not how things work in my house. <laughs> Okay, um, and then we got a bunch of stickers that are cool. I don't know, I love stickers, but I don't know what to do with them. Reef net, reef net. We go on about reef net. Eat the bait. I understand the eat the bait thing. That says like, hey man, instead of using anchovies to catch big fish that are like, you know, not so good for us to catch so many of, why don't we just eat these anchovies since, you know, they reduce, reproduce, reduce, uh, like uh, rabbits. Um, God, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Okay, you know, what, I mean, like, let's, let's open up a thing of mackerel, right? I'm not gonna review this. We're just gonna, we're just gonna look, we're just gonna look at the mackerel. Um, I was like, should I open up the anchovies? And I was like, I'm so like uh, lazy about doing the another fish conquered thing that I didn't. I don't want to do anchovies right now. Okay, let's get. That's a good plate. Yeah, let's get this plate. You guys are sort of seeing a little bit of how the sausage gets made here. Okay, and uh. And uh, look, we got this, we got this, they got a magazine, all right? Patagonia Provisions, uh, it says 2020. You know, 2020 was a rough year for these guys. Um, so, like, Patagonia, they're, 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 they're all about, like, 
it's all about the the whole vibe of the thing. You know, there's a lot of like, oh yeah, look at this delicious redness popping up out of here. There, oh my God. Yeah, there, it's, it's, it's hard for me to like really get into it. Like it seems very earnest, this whole like, hey, being outside and environmentalism go hand in hand. And like, you know, like, if I had some big company, like I hope I would do it the way that they seem to be doing it. And it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to not be like, uh, like a uh, insufferable uh, hipster about stuff and just be like, yeah, like when somebody's being really earnest about like, yeah, man, we're trying to do it the best way. Like to me, like I just wanna, kinda wanna just make fun of them and stuff, but uh, you, you get to a point where you sort of, you, 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 you get tired of living in a world where people are trying to destroy it. So, uh, so whatever, let's just try some mackerel here. Okay. Oh yeah. This is what you want to see. I've been waiting to open up some fish and have it just be like red as all get out all over. Now, for some reason, this doesn't seem as tender as, oh, I'm reviewing the fish now. Whoops. Mmm. I was gonna say it didn't seem as tender as that lemon caper mackerel that I had, but. And maybe it is. Um, man, it's just, it's just texture wise, it's like, a, it's a whole different thing from that Trader Joe's stuff. It seems like the same, same size fish and all. Hmm, pretty good. So we open up this magazine and look, um, this little kid, is um, eaten too, right? I'm eating, they're eating. Yeah, where are they? Somebody commented uh, on um, on my my other Patagonia video. Do you even know where Patagonia is? And I was like, oh, it's it's a place. <laughs> you know, like I think I, I think it's like some uh, mountain range or some some area or something, I don't know. Look at all these words, man. This is all to sell their food. Look at these boys, they're they're having these, um, is these mussels, right? I don't know. It's Patagonia, looks like it's a region of Chile. Maybe. Look, okay, so these guys camping. I, I guess I'm gonna set this next to the commode at some point and see if I learn something. Look, here's a map. Uh, this is this is a map of where they source a lot of their stuff, apparently. So we've got Willamette Valley, Oregon, which is the place that you go to in uh, Oregon Trail. And uh, that's where they get pumpkin seeds. I have not really encountered any pumpkin seeds in this mess, but you know, whatever. Gosh, they've just gone, they've gone to such trouble, right? to, um, oh, this was all about the soil of, I mean, I don't, you know, it's, it's, it's like, it's like, do I feel better eating stuff? Like, yeah, I, I guess I do. I mean, I just want to know that it was done sustainably. Uh, maybe I just, I don't really care about the details. Like I just kind of like, hey, you take care of it, please. You know, oh, is this an extra 30 cents for you to just take care of it? And I don't have to feel like a jerk uh, for eating it. Yeah what this guy's doing. I have no idea what he's even doing here. Like these are plants and this is a man. I sound like the biggest idiot all the time. This is, this is what, you know, you see media and people are prepared. They've like thought about what they're going to see. This is like, this is like really what goes through some doofus's mind when he flips through a magazine. Like what is all this? This is like some real national geographic business. So this guy, He's wearing um, some sneakers and he's jumping over some beer cans. Excellent, I'm just gonna. Uh, mm. Now paprika, I think I know what that's supposed to taste like. Um, whatever else they put in here, 
It ain't spicy. This isn't spicy. I got excited because it was red. Hmm. Pretty good. I sort of want to go grab some espinel or sauce, but I kind of got my hands full here. Okay, what else are we looking at? I feel like we're doing a damn Patagonia commercial right now. Um, so be it. They sent me like a hundred bucks worth of food here. Maybe not a hundred. I don't know. Uh, this, they, I guess they make, it says 2020. So I guess the idea is that they make one of these sort of annuals every day or every year and they and they kind of keep it updated or whatever um maybe they maybe they change the articles and switch out the pictures oh yeah that's what you would do with different editions of a magazine isn't it so here we go look at this boat so they're out looking for mackerel and what the heck is this what are these little are these little slippy slides for fish who knows Oh, damn. Look at these fish. Look how beautiful this is, man. This is a great picture. I mean, I know I can just go online and uh, and see a picture like this anytime I want to, but uh, for a fellow that's kind of getting there like myself, there's something about the, uh, the printed matter here, you know? Um, and this is a pretty high quality uh, Screedly D here too, you know? Okay, this is like this is like what I'm having right now. I think this is exactly what I'm having. Yeah, eat the bait. I think this is sort of we're getting to the to the crux of the thing here, huh? Okay, we're gonna go faster. Go faster. Oh, uh, so this is they 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 fish it with this tiny thread. So they don't use regular bait. They use this this thread, and it looks like a little itty bitty crustacean that the mackerel want to eat anyway. That's how stupid fish are, and that's why I don't feel bad for eating them. Uh, feeding the gut microbiome. That's something I'm pretty passionate about, right? Love eating my natto. Look at this, y'all. This is like, you put this on the canned fish subreddit, and you get, you get a bunch of upvotes. People are like, you cooked something? <laughs> la, la, la. Connect the dots. Look at this guy. Look all the way into his mouth. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, look, this guy, this lady, camping. Fun, fun, fun. Danny, thank you so much for sending me all this stuff. I know I, uh, you know, I come off like a jerk, but uh, I really enjoy this stuff. I'm enjoying this mackerel, man. A lot of fun. Can't wait to try these mussels and stuff. We'll get around to it. We got so much stuff to do. I still, I still got so much of my stuff from um, my Rainbow Tomato Gardens order. Um, I got, I got this Coles smoked rainbow trout, jalapeno ones. Everybody says like, oh, these are the best. I actually tried this stuff camping before, and it was like super good. This stuff was so expensive to ship, and it really wasn't that expensive itself. Some other little sardines. I heard somebody named Titus. Uh, uh, enjoys watching my videos. Way you mar, uh, calamar, you like, how, how can I have this stuff in my house and not freaking eat it? What am I waiting for? What's going on? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm. Gotta eat your veggies. This could use a little espinol or sauce, right? Couldn't everything. Bye.